In this video, we are going to see about single phase half control fed drive or semiconductor fed drive. What is the difference between a fully controlled rectifier and half controlled rectifier? In fully controlled rectifier, all the four devices are SCRs. So, you are able to control the rectifier fully. And its output voltage changes from plus that is plus value to minus value. You can operate in both rectifier mode and inversion mode. But in case of a half controlled rectifier, first thing you can see that two diodes are used instead of thyristors. So there is a limited control over the output voltage. So, always the voltage is positive. So, you have only limited control. Here, thyristors, you can change the firing angle. In case of diode, you cannot change its conduction. And this can act only in rectifier mode. But still, semiconductor fed drives are used. Why? Because the cost of thyristor and its gate circuit will be costlier. So, when you use diode, your circuit will be cheaper. Because in some applications, you may need only rectifier mode. In that case, going for a fully controlled rectifier will be costly option. So, in such cases where you need only rectifier mode of operation, you can go for a semiconductor instead of a fully controlled rectifier. And the another difference is that this fully controlled rectifier can operate in two quadrants that is motoring mode and braking mode is possible whereas in half controlled or semi converter only one mode is possible because you cannot change the polarity of the output voltage in half controlled converter. So let us see the, its configuration. Actually, there are two configurations, symmetrical configuration and asymmetrical configuration. So, in symmetrical configuration, you can see two thyristors are placed in the upper leg and diodes are placed at the bottom. In some cases, they will place two thyristors in same leg and two diodes in another leg. But we are not going to study about that. So, this is the symmetrical configuration where all the leg have one thyristor and one diode. So, this is the semiconductor fed drive which is um, the semiconductor is supplying the motor load which is represented by R, L and E and a freewheeling diode is connected across the motor. So, let us consider here only the continuous conduction mode and from alpha to pi this thyristor D1 and D diode D2 will conduct. So, the path will be like this and at pi plus alpha to 2 pi T3 and the diode D4 will be conducting. But the remaining period the freewheeling diode the current will be freewheeling through this diode. Let us see the output voltage waveform. Here uh, this is the supply voltage waveform and at instant alpha we are giving the firing pulse for T1 and at uh, pi plus alpha we are giving the pulse for T3. During positive half cycle that is VAB D2 is already in uh, forward biased and when you give the gate pulse for T1, T1 and D2 will carry the load current. At pi what happens this freewheeling diode will be forward biased and it starts to um, carry the motor current. So, in such case this thyristor will be turned off automatically and diode also turns off automatically and here at pi plus alpha when you give the gate pulse for T3 D4 will be already forward bias doing the negative half cycle. So, T3 and D4 will start conduction. 
so this is the table which shows the period and the output waveform and uh, the period of conduction of the freewheeling diode so we have assumed a uh, continuous load current so current is continuous let us derive the average voltage so v average is equal to 1 by pi alpha 2 pi you have the output voltage vm sin omega t so same simplify it you will get vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha so when alpha equal to 0 cos 0 is 1 so your output will be 2 vm by pi when alpha is 90 degree v naught is this one and alpha equal to 180 degree v naught is 0 so let us uh, plot this one so this is the wave uh, plot we got for fully controlled rectifier that is plus v 2 vm by pi to minus 2 vm by pi you can control in case of a fully controlled rectifier that is for alpha less than 90 degree it acts as a rectifier and for alpha greater than 90 degree it acts as an inverter so now if you plot for the semi converter or half control converter it is changing from 2 vm by pi to 0 at 180 degree so you can see that you are able to control only in the positive side now we will derive the speed torque relation so as i told uh, in previous videos v average you write it vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha simply equate to eb plus ira then substitute eb is equal to km into omega m and then find what is omega m and for torque you want torque relation so torque is equal to km into ia so instead of ia you put t by km here so you will get the speed torque relation so speed torque is here if you plot it you will get like this this indicates that at increasing alpha your characteristics is like this and you will get only one quadrant operation in case of a semiconverter next we will derive for rms value of source current so source current is ia only so rms value 1 by pi integral of alpha 2 pi ia square into d of omega t it's a simple it is a constant take it out so apply the limits so this is rms value of source current now if you see the rms value of thyristor current here we have taken half cycle because source current occurs in both the half cycles so half cycle is enough but if you take a thyristor current say i take thyristor current t1 it will be present only for one half cycle remaining half cycle another thyristor current will be there so irms is equal to 1 by 2 pi so if it is source current take it as pi if it is thyristor current take it as 2 pi same formula apply it you will get this one only this two will be different then we can find the rms value of freewheeling diode also so freewheeling diode current will be available only for 0 to alpha period this is for half cycle so 1 by pi 0 to alpha so this is for freewheeling diode so the points to remember here are in semi converter we have two ser and two diode it can act only as a rectifier the output voltage is always positive and it is a one quadrant converter the two it acts in first quadrant forward motoring mode for same alpha actually semi converter will give you higher output compared to a fully controlled converter that is why it is preferred in some applications and it is economical compared to a fully controlled rectifier if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you